Hi, today is Wednesday, March 29th, 2017. It's the third day of the fifth week of Lent, and this is a sweet speaks. And uh, now we have to talk about the murdered Swede in Congo, uh, Saida Catalan. She was, uh, I mean, I, I remember her. So, I mean, this is a sad story. I mean, I understand, or I think I understand, why this happened, and why it happened to her. And we'll get into it. But really, it is a sad story. And still, I have to say something about it. Because if people don't understand, well, the, the mentality going on, the things that are working together here, it's, it's just going to keep on happening. Uh, Saida Catalan is a former Green Party politician in Sweden. Uh, her father was a political refugee from Chile. Her mother was Swedish. Uh, during the years 2001 until 2005, she was one of the leaders of, uh, of the Young Greens of Sweden, the youth organization of the Green Party. I didn't like that party back then either. So I, I know... Uh, I. I, I, did, I never met her, but I know about her. Uh, she was an animal rights activist, and hey, animals are fine, you, you, you should treat them nice, but she said some stuff that I thought was pretty absurd. Uh, and I still think that. But anyway. And uh, she left party politics a few years ago, and uh, she turned into, or she was employed at least, as an expert on sexual violence. That's something called the EU poll in Congo. And uh, I think it has something to do with the UN because she is called a UN employee in the articles. I'm not really sure about her expertise because she was also big on feminism and one of the elite feminists. And uh, yeah, well, you know how Swedish elite feminists like to blame to blame Swedish men for everything. As far as I understand, she was a part of that crowd. Uh, but still, I need to underline this. This is a sad story. And I'm, get, I'm getting to my points. Uh, because not long before she, she died, a few days ago, she posted a picture on Facebook uh, where she wrote that she was living la vida loca. I think that means living the crazy life or something like that in Spanish. Uh, and what happened was that... Uh, she took, uh, she and another UN employee went out to, to an area and they took a motorcycle taxi or a moped taxi. They weren't armed, they had no protection, and they went to an area considered not safe in Congo. I mean, you can hear the craziness going on here. I don't understand why the UN would send out well, pardon me for saying this, but why do they send out a woman unarmed with no protection to a place considered dangerous? I saw an article and I saw that the, well, the government of Congo said that this was stupid. And I think the government of Congo is probably not a nice one, but they are most likely right about that. So wh wh why, why would the UN send, why would they do this? I mean, okay, I can understand that. If you are a naive, green, feminist, uh, you think that, you, you believe in some sort of uh, kumbaya ideology. That it's everyone just, just is nice to each other, everything's going to work out fine. And this is a naive ideology, sadly. I wish it was true, but uh, since the fall it hasn't. And, uh, well, since the fall of, of Adam and Eve, of course, it hasn't been true. And that's why we need to we need to be we need to be prepared for the situations we can end up in, and we need to know how to avoid them. And this is where everything went wrong. They were kidnapped. I have seen some reports about uh, that she was raped for days. I don't know how they would know that, so I don't know that. But uh, they found her in some grave, beheaded, and. What can I say? This is what happens. I mean, sorry, 
it's terrible it's, it's a terrible situation what can you say but when you when you are this naive and when nobody stops you from hurting yourself these things might happen i'm not saying that you should blame the victim or anything like that absolutely not but you need a reality check before these things happen seriously because this is this is bad this just it's just terrible and uh, I mean the UN need the UN and EU poll and whatever they need to look at their routines and how this could happen they might need to look who they hire that they understand what they are doing how they are cooperating with the authorities in the country they are how they are making sure people are secure I mean there's so much that they should do that obviously have not been done here so I mean I guess that's all I can say right now. I just had to say something. And well, that's all I have to say about this right now. And uh, well, I used to hold my thank you speech, so I'm gonna do it, although it might be a little weird right now. But I still like to thank the people who are supporting this channel through prayers, through PayPal, through Patreon. Without mentioning any names, I could say that I am getting uh, donations from time to time. Uh, and uh, any amount is a good amount, I'm very happy for them. And uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Uh, please share my videos on social media. If you got something to say, please comment. Uh, but please. Okay, I know you can write whatever you want, but please, I don't, I don't want a lot of flaming comments with the N word now. I don't want that. I think I'm just gonna ignore comments that, with that word. Seriously, I can't take that right now. And uh, and if you like this video, like it. And um, well. If, and I would also like to encourage you to support this channel, and I will include all the necessary information in the box below. This is Sweet Speaks. Have a nice day.